Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be an updated or a new because it's been like forever since I've done one of these. An updated what's in my bag video. And today I'm gonna be featuring my new Gucci Dionysus Dionysus bag, which I'm so excited about. I actually did like a bag first impression unboxing with this bag um, like it's a three weeks ago something like that and it was so exciting it is my newest bag in my bag collection and I did kind of promise you guys to tell you my thoughts about this bag after having worn it for a while and now I have so my initial thoughts after having worn it for some time is that I still freaking love it it still looks really really beautiful there are no scratches or anything like that the only thing that's been a real struggle for me is that it's a smaller bag compared to all of my other bags and even though it looks kind of big right now, compared to my Balenciaga City bag or my Givenchy and Gona bag, those bags are so much bigger and they can store so much more shit. <laughs> so I have been challenged when it comes to like storing all of my stuff in here. But I'll try to show you exactly what I've got in this bag right now. As I said, I have been wearing it. If you can say that, I don't even know. But I have been wearing the bag for around three weeks now. The bag is really messy already. Let me just be honest. I am not one of those really organized people when it comes to my bags. I put all receipts in there, coins and whatever, so I'm always really, really unorganized with my bags, just FYI. So if you think I'm really messy, I'm so effing sorry, but that's just the way I am. But because it does have three compartment rooms, it has been a bit more easy for me to figure out what to bring with me and what to store where. But without further ado, let's get into this bad boy. Always so satisfying. So first of all, as you can see, there's a flap right here where you've got a little extra compartment room. And that room has been kind of like a yay-nay experience for me because it is quite tight, as you can see. There isn't that much room for anything in there. And as you can see, I stored something over here, which is my, if I can get it up there, my keys for my home, like for my apartment and for my bike. You do kind of see a bit of a bumpy thing going on right here when I've got the keys right there. So that kind of annoys me because it ruins the look of the back, but that's a minor thing. And you can always store your keys in here, but I feel like that this little pocket right here is made for those quicker things that you want to grab quickly. Other than that, I also have got my travel card in here as well. This is a Isacorp, which is a Danish kind of oyster card or whatever you want to call it. And last but not least, I've got my earplugs or earphones in here as well because it's quick, simple, easy to grab. My struggle is that I always mess them up and ruin them and I always lose them. So having them in that little compartment room in the front is actually really nice. Then we'll get into the three compartment rooms. As you can see, there are two open ones and then one closed one right here in the middle with a zipper. Firstly, obviously, I've got my um, phone. Because I've got an iPhone 6S Plus, it is freaking huge, I mean, compared to my face. It's crazy. So most times I'm not able to keep this one in my pockets, like in my jackets or whatever. So I usually store it in my bag. And my case, if you're wondering, is from Richmond and Finch. I love it. Marble is my thing. This gloss is so sticky right now. I don't know why. Other than that, I've also got a transportable charger right here. This is actually from Clinique. I got it sent to me. The charger looks like this, really, really smart. And I love it so much. I think it's so stinking cute. And it looks like the Clinique Moisture Surge Concentrate. I'm always in need of these chargers because I use my phone a lot during the day for Instagram and Snapchat and blah, blah, blah. So this is a lifesaver and I always bring it with me no matter where I go. And you can get them smaller, definitely, but I just think this is so stinking cute. I can't can't even. It's like, it's a makeup thing in me. It's just like, I love it. And then <laughs> I've been out dining with a girlfriend today. So the receipt from that, what a fail. And then also something that I find so important to have with me all the freaking time, a roller. And I'm not even sure what to call these, like a fuss roller. Do you call it that in England? I'm not sure. And this is from a brand called Flint. I'm not sure if it's a Danish brand or not, but this is so freaking smart. And I really love the design of it as well. It's golden and cute. And when you see it like this, you wouldn't think that it's a fuss roller or whatever you call it. Once again, I have no idea what to call it. For right now, we'll call it a fuss roller. And then you just roll it up right here. 
and then you've got it. And it's really great if you've got a dog around you or if you get messy. I do have some days where I go to a lot of meetings, like from meeting to meeting, and then this is a lifesaver in order for me not to look messy or anything like that. And actually, I know it sounds crazy, but sometimes when I've got some flyaway hair, I also do like this, just to put it down and make sure that it's all straightened and downwards and so on. I know it sounds crazy. It's a two-in-one for me. It's a brush to lay down the smaller hair and also this little fuss roller. Once again, no idea what it's called. What is it called? Anyway, moving on to the other big compartment room right here. As you can see, I store my purse right there or wallet, purse. Purse wallet. Um, this is my good old standard one from Mulberry. I've had this for so many years now. I actually think you've seen this wallet in almost all of my what's in my bag videos. But honestly, this is such an amazing purse. I've had it for years and years and years. And as you can see, there's no damage on it whatsoever. Mulberry, they may not be as trendy as they once were, but their actual products, they are so good. They are so well made, such high quality. I am so happy with this wallet. There's a lot of room in there for your cards. There's two sizes you can see and for receipts and for coins as well in there. I love this one till the day I die, but I definitely have to bring out my new um, YSL or Saint Laurent um, purse that I got for Christmas because that one is amazing as well. And actually a bit smaller. I should have used that one today. <laughs> then other than that, I've got a hairband in here. These are so good. For so many years, I thought these were absolutely crap. And then I figured out that I just had them in the wrong like, strength and wrong size and so on. But this size is amazing. And you can't even see it when you put your hair up in a bun. And they don't make that weird dance in your hair either. I love these, especially for sleeping at nighttime or just putting my hair up quickly when I'm out and about. Amazing how happy a hair tie can make you, huh? Then I've got a pen because... I can write something. Normally I would bring like a notebook with me as well, but now that I've got my phone with me, I've got a notebook on my phone. And other than that, some trash from a gum. That's kind of gross. <laughs> and then let's move into the middle section where I actually store some makeup. Even though I'm not one of those who loves to touch up during the day, I still need to bring some lipstick with me or just some quick things if I look like a freak and a circus clown, which let's be honest, sometimes my makeup does go a bit cray cray because of the Danish weather. Rain, snow, sunny weather, hot weather, we've got it all. So I've got all of my makeup in this little bag right here. I have been traveling with this bag as well, so that's why they're in this kind of like travel bag. Um, but I don't know if you can see what's in here, let me just show you. I've got my By Terra Terribly Denseless Concealer. This is amazing. Honestly, I love this concealer so much. I've got it in the shade Natural Beige. And why I love this one is because that it's a really nice medium coverage and you can use it all over your face if you just need to touch up and I just think it's such a great one for concealing underneath the eyes. Then I've got the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme because this is amazing for plumping your lips and most times I actually don't really feel like wearing any lipstick. I just want to wear a glossy kind of thing and this one looks so good and as I said it plumps up the lips as well so they look bigger and juicier and prettier. I love it. You have got to be kidding me. Are you for real right now? Stupid son, I won. I've also got a Too Faced lip balm with me. This one is called Like Butter. This is like my favorite on the go lip balm because it's not too thick and too sticky and gross. It, it is just really, really lightweight, but it really gives that instant moisture that I feel like that I need for my lips. And I love that it comes like this so you don't have to use your fingers to apply it. It is just much more sanitary and easy for you. And packaging as well, how can you not love it? And lastly, as you may be able to see, I've got a little white beauty blender with me. It looks really gross right now, but there's a reason why I bring that one, because I also bring my Bobbi Brown um, skin foundation stick and this one is in the shade 2.5 and I bring this one because it is a foundation concealer all-in-one kind of thing and even though I do have my by Terry concealer with me I like using this one on my entire face and then the by Terry one underneath the eyes I love that it comes in a stick because then I can just draw it on wherever I need some more coverage and then I just pat it on with the beauty blender and you can actually do that with it just being um, dry so you don't have to wet in it either which is really nice because this one is very creamy on its own. Great little combo to have with you and it doesn't take up too much space. Then I've also got a pad. Yes, let's put it down there again, shall we? 
a little hair tie and extra one but that is actually all that I've got in there I think yeah just the Gucci tag as well that you got with the bag, but that is it. The bag is empty. So as you can see, that is all that I store in my bag. It is not at all as much as I'm used to storing in my bags because once again, my other bags are so big. However, I still feel that this is such a great size for me. It helps me not to carry that much shit around with me and it makes me a bit more aware of what I've actually got in my bag, even though it's still a bit messy. But me and my amazing little Dionysus bag, we want to say thank you so very much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it and that you found it useful and helpful. And also do let me know if there's any other videos that you want to see from me next, if it's fashion or beauty related or personal related, it doesn't really matter. I want to do what you guys want to see. If you did like this video, please remember to thumbs it up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But thank you so much for watching. Remember, I love you all to the moon and back and everywhere else. Mwah.